Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy IX. Sweet Jesus. All right, so what's happened since the last time you guys have seen me? Well, as you guys already know, I had to go through a hell of a lot of trouble to collect one. I repeat, one single enemy skill because, you know, fuck Rezo. So uh, right now, I've been doing a couple things. One, uh, almost everybody in my team, almost everyone capable... Uh, I think barring Eco, I think I don't think well Eco has it, yeah. But basically, almost everybody I have access to has now learned auto regen. The only one who hasn't is uh, Armorant. Eco's already Eco's already learned it, so that's good. So everyone else has it, so that's good. You see, I have Armorant in my team currently. That's because I was working on him in between. So let's get going, shall we? We got a we got a job to finish. We got to go rescue this chick. So last time, we knocked the bucket all the way down and took out two red dragons. So we don't actually need to do anything down here. We can just head on over. Let's go. Sedane, it's Eko. Kuja and the Black Mages are there too. Eko, that must be the extraction spell. Yeah. I Eidolon of eternal life, arise from thy eternal slumber, let there be light. The time has come. Dagger, wait. I know. We all know how you feel. Come on, let's do it. That was odd. Odd that was. We failed again. Did you make some mistake? Make mistake? I did not. Yours the mistake must be. I made no mistake at all. The truth, do you speak? Of course I speak the truth. Will you two simply shut up? It's his fault. His fault it is. The one who messed up is you. You're the one who messed up. I said, shut up. I don't want to hear any more excuses. I sense a great power from within her. Continue the extraction. Continuing further will endanger the subject's life. Only at the age of 16 can Eidolons be extracted. You two don't get it. I need an Eidolon more powerful than Alexander. An Eidolon with the power to bury Garland. His powers are so incredible, I can't even come close. I must destroy him before Terra's plan is activated or my soul will no longer be my own. Who cares if she lives? I want that Eidolon. Kubo. Where did that come from? You get out of our way. Master. Kubo? Well? Her pet Moogle's interfering with the extraction process. Certain we are that it caused the failure. Kill the runt, we're running out of time. Kubo. Mog, no, Mog, hide behind me. Mog, what is it? Eco, thanks for everything. Mog, what are you saying? Don't worry, Kupo. I will always be with you, Kupo. Mog, this way? Whoa! We will put you to death. Put you to death, we will.
I wanted to be by your side, Eco. So I became Mog. Don't worry. I'll always watch over you, Koopa. Whoa. Eco, are you okay? I'm alright. Mog saved me. I never knew that Mog was an Eidolon. Or it's Adolon. Ugh, I'm so bad at names. She always looked after me disguised as a Moogle. Even though, even though she was weak, she fought her best to protect me. So that's what happened. Mog's ribbon. Mog. And we obtained ribbon. It's all right, Eco. Mog will always watch over you. You're right. Now, how can that be? That Moogle went into a trance. Kuja? So, an eruption of anger against one's surroundings induces a complete trance. It's not the will to live, nor is it the desire to protect another. Man, you're really going off. Hello? That means I simply need a powerful soul, even if that soul is not my own. No, wait. And it can be found there. <laughs> Kuja, what are you plotting? I am done with you. Wait a minute. Ah! Vivi, look out. Don't worry. I hear these twins put on quite a good show. Of course, they're not really twins at all. Arrivederci! Wait, what about the black mages? No, Phoebe, it's too dangerous! Whoa! Stane, something's wrong. I thought we defeated them. So, this is med I can't even pronounce it. The point is, is that this boss is a pain in the dick. So our goal so you so this boss uses cur um uses virus, which is an annoying ability. However, we were smart and we brought with us a way to completely negate that shit. So our goal here is to steal. This boss has two items that we want. A gold hairpin and demon's vest technically we just want the demon's vest although the gold hairpin due to the work i put in the gold hairpin means very little to me now but it can mean a lot to you depending on how you view it so hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get through but i think we all here have uh, a means of uh, recovering health now so i think everybody here is well equipped for this Obviously, having antibody is preferable, so if you have antibody, you're probably going to be much better off just because you're not going to get poisoned. Um, okay, she got poisoned, but that's... Alright, so there's the gold hairpin, so that's good. But that was an unfortunate circumstance. I, don't, I wasn't planning on her actually getting poisoned, but it kind of doesn't mean much when you take into consideration the fact that... Unlike many other things in this game, you can actually kind of negate that shit out, right? So, our goal here, for, for first off, is... Let's do Zidane, and we're also going to do one on Ico, uh, Ico as well. So, I mean, we got the gold hairpin. The demon mail is a bitch and a half to get, though. 
It is such an annoying pain in the ass to get. I fucking hate this one item. It is an absolute chore. Hopefully he drops it in a reasonable amount of time. The first time I did this, he did not want to drop it at all. I'm not too concerned, so we're just gonna throw a few rising stars at him. Cause, I mean, why the fuck not? Well, no reason for that shit. But we'll do protect on you, protect on you. There we go. I'm not gonna be relying too heavily on Dagger just because she runs too much risk of just flat out fucking failing a cast. And that shit's so dumb. Like, I get it, it has story relevance because. I mean, if you play D&D, you know most spells require a somatic and a verbal component, so... Obviously, she has to be able to talk in order to cast her spells. So we're gonna spend some time just getting rid of, uh... Virus. Uh, this, as uh, you got it, so this, uh... Virus stops you from getting XP, and also stops you from getting... Oh, perfect! Fantastic. That went by way faster than I thought it would. Jesus. Alright. Uh, let's kill him. Fuck it. We do actually need to continue our, vi our vaccines across the party. He doesn't have that much HP at about 25,000. He's not very well off. I mean, he has HP, don't get me wrong. He's not a pushover, but I wouldn't put him very high up there. And the thing is, like, he has, he may seem like he has a lot of HP, but his gimmick is so fucking terrible. All right, so we are all vaccinated. Well, that, this is, this, uh, this whole episode's gonna age really, really badly, isn't it? Rising Sun. Uh, I'm gonna be using... Oh, oh, Venom Powder. Okay, that's fine. Literally shouldn't do much to me. Shouldn't do anything to me, really. Jesus. Those throws, though. God damn. I am always caught off guard by just how much damage a throw can do in this game. It's actually disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna try, uh, we'll try Shiva. Oh, perfect, I casted, nice. Okay, well, I guess that's ice, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that I didn't do much. There we go. Yo, not gonna lie, that... That two grand on throw is pretty disgusting. That is... That is hella disgusting. That is gross that it does so much. Honestly, I mean, if you're if you're really hell bent on just using summons, you can just use summons all day long, and then just use uh, Armorant's Chakra to give back um, MP once in a while, and you could probably just get away with that shit. Honestly, I mean, what, what's he gonna really do to you? He should be almost dead. He does he doesn't have that much health on him.
See, I take damage even less seriously now because uh, I didn't realize that regen still works during a summon animation. So you're still ticking back health during a full summon animation. It's kind of disgusting. 11 AP. Damn. So that's what you miss out on if you don't buy vaccines. That's that's disgusting. Nice. Almorant learned uh, two things. Perfect. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Vivi, where's Kuja? Did he get away? Vivi? Everyone knew he was lying, but they still followed him. He said that our lifespans can't be extended and that we were fools for believing him. What? Kuja said that? I'm so sorry for all I've done. You guys don't have to apologize. Where are the others? They were so shocked to hear it. They're all sitting down over there. Zidane, what am I supposed to tell them? Vivi. Hey, uh, Vivi, where are you going? All I can do is just sit with them. Ugh, that's dark. That bastard. When I get my hands on him. Pardon me. Is, but is someone out there? Who might you be? Where was that? Where has that Kuja gone? Oh, him? He split, lady. What? You chased him away? I know not who you are, but you have my sincere gratitude. Could this be? Princess Garnet? Why, it is! It is you! Oh, how long has it been? I haven't seen your highness in ages. Why, look how you've grown! So whatever brought you to this dreadful place? Uh, who is this lady? What's a friend of yours doing here, anyways? Oh, oh my darling! Hilda, I finally found you. I do not remember ever marrying a toad. It's me, Ribbit. Sid. Of course, that mustache. It really is you. Hilda, come back to the castle, Ribbit. And return me to my former self, Ribbit. Dreadfully sorry, my sugar cup. But I surrendered your favorite airship to a man named Kuja. Forget about it, Ribbit. As long as you're right, Ribbit. Oh, my sweet froggy woggy. So, uh, you know Kuja? I'm gonna make him pay. Please tell me all about him. Very well, my dear. I shall tell you everything once we reach Lindblom. Ribbit. Kuja didn't touch you, did he? His soul was filled with hate, but he was polite to me. He just talked an awful lot. What about, Ribbit? Well, he divulged his master plan to me. I didn't even have to ask. It was tiresome. But what he spoke of, it was a true, it was truly a scene from a nightmare. What did he say? That he was not of this world. He said his aim was to use this world to acquire an even more destructive power. The talking, the taking of Hildegard, of the Hildegard one was a part of his process. We must tell the Dane about this, Ribbit. You have valuable information. Which led me to believe that my abduction wasn't part of his plan. He was a hopeless narcissist, but... But at least he wasn't a skirt chaser like you. Ugh. You hit me where it hurts most. I'm sorry about that. That's why I risked my life to rescue you. Oh, really? Are you sure you weren't there to just take back the Hildegard one? I'm not lying. 
I apologize. So please turn me back. I'm sick of being an oglop. Or a frog. I'll never cheat on you ever again, I promise. Can your words be trusted? I don't lie. I swear on my father's name. All right, I'll turn you back. But it's going to be much worse if you ch ever cheat on me again. I, I understand. Now turn me back, woman. Maybe I'll turn you into a hedgehog pie. Ech. Please, no. Just turn me back. All right, all right. Finally, Ribbit, I'm human again. Ha, ha, ha! I can concentrate on building the Hildegard Three. Oh, darn it. I must stop that. Dear? I'm sorry about everything, Hilda. Zidane? Hmm? Dagger? Mr. Zidane. Why are you calling me Mr. Zidane? Mr. Zidane, please get up. Huh? Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, what's up? Lady Hilda is calling a meeting. Please go to the conference room. Okay. I just wished I could have dreamt a little longer. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Alright. So, let's do some minor equipment shifting. But I don't recall there was much for you to gain out of this. Yeah, see, like... This is the... I'm at a point now where, like, I've done so much shit in my off time that my characters are just... They're fucking ridiculous. There's very few things I don't... I'm waiting for, like, new gear so I can learn, like, new shit I don't already fucking know. It's actually... Actually really kind of gross when you consider just how much I've gained out of this time and plow playing this game. So, as, as always, we need to talk to a Moogle. It's this one. So we're gonna read the mail. As always, if you don't have new mail, you gotta talk to them twice, because it's fucking ridiculous you have to do this. So let's talk to him again. I have a favor to ask, Kupo. I want you to deliver a letter to Kumul. Okay. Well, there we go. We got a letter. This will also be great once we get past this section. I can go finish up a quest that we started a very, very, very long time ago. I can show you guys. You guys remember, I have two coffees right now. And that's mostly just because I went through the hassle to get them. So, uh, we're gonna have to go look into grabbing that last coffee from an area that I completely forgot to double check. This was, like, super early game. We're talking, like, right outside the evil forest early. And, uh, I apologize. I missed that. I can't... You know, I, it's my fault. I use, I use a source to make sure I, I don't miss certain things, and... Well, I, I fucked up and missed it. I thought, I thought it would pop up like everything else popped up. Turns out it didn't pop up for that. Let's head for the conference room. Not the throne room, that's for sure. Who's that guy? It's re it's Regent Sid. What? Still hasn't got any manners, Rebel. Ahem. Still haven't learned your manners. You can stop the frog. You can stop the frog talk now. Silence, Ribbit. <laughs> oh well. Ugh. I didn't gather you all here to talk about that. 
I called this meeting to tell you all about what I've learned while in Kuja's captivity. It may provide a hint about where he may be, so listen carefully. I don't see the princess anywhere, though. I shall go look for her. I will begin constructing the Hildegard III. The blue Narcissus, the blue Narcissus will be used for its construction. Now, Hilda, will you tell the rest? Hilda? So, what did Kuja discuss with you? Some parts of the story may be hard to believe, but please hear me out. Kuja plans to use this world as a means to of acquiring an even greater destructive power. Greater power? What would he do with it? I don't know. He indicated that he wasn't of this world. What? <laughs> we call our world Gaia. But he called his birthplace Terra. Terra? Huh? How are the repairs coming along? They're going really slow. We can't rush them. We can't rush them. Or everything will probably fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. I've been up there. I've been up here forever. I want to switch places with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. Ah, uh, she's... She doesn't seem to be here either. Where could she be? Yo. Oh, it's only you. Why are you all gathered here? Are you scheming another abduction or something? Hey, watch your mouth. We were just discussing ways to, to restore this district. Yeah. Old timer, you got us all wrong. Yeah. We're just trying to rebuild our home, that's all. What are you doing here? From the look on your face, it seems you got some problems. What's troubling you? Maybe we can help. Er, can I really trust you? Yeah. The princess is missing. She's not in the castle, so I figured she would be in town. Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? We'll find her. This is like a backyard. All right, you heard me. Get moving. You have my gratitude. Hey, no problem. Hit this terra seems to be con seems to be connected with a place called the Shimmering Island. I don't know where Kuja went, but maybe we can find him if we go there. Unfortunately, you can't get directly to Terra from the Shimmering Island. Of course you can't. Everyone would have discovered this other world by now if it were that easy. What do we do? I'll tell you. The gateway connect the gateway that connects the two worlds is sealed, but Kuja but Kuja said there is a place where the seal can be broken. Where's that? He said it's an old castle located on the north on the northern area of the Forgotten Continent. An explorer left a record of his trip to this particular castle. On the forgotten, hmm. an explorer left a record of his trip to this particular castle on the forgotten continent. If I remember correctly, he wrote that the cliffs were too steep to explore. Other than that, very little is known about this continent. Well, since this castle doesn't have a name, let's call it Ibsen's Castle. Ibsen's Castle, huh? Yeah, we don't know anything about the world beyond our continent. Never understood how that works out around here. I just 
I don't know, man. I just never buy into the idea that these games take place in worlds where people just don't know what's outside of their continent. Like, we're not talking about, like, like these, this, like, this medieval, sure, but they have boats. Like, they have access to fucking boats. I'm sure someone would have been like, yeah, I'll travel across the sea. Apparently the mist stopped them, but still, I'm surprised nobody else ever did. So, just me. Recovery. How is the ship coming along? Regent, you are a human again. Yes, now we can concentrate on building the ship. And judging by our experience with Hilda, too, we're almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull, though. Yes, I'm thinking about using parts of the blue narcissus for the body. How come? I realized that the Blue Narcissus was a well-built ship when I rode in it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have completed a blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you, and it will be completed in no time. Let's get ready. Roger. And that's all I heard. You may find a clue if you go to Ibsen's castle. Did you ask Kuja about all of this? These are all the things he discussed voluntarily. He became very impassioned as he spoke. And he volunteered information without even my asking. He probably thought telling me his plans wouldn't affect his grand scheme. He's right. His power is great. And we're at a disadvantage. But I can't forgive Kuja! He toyed with my friends' lives! Now we know where we need to go. The problem is getting there. I guess we'll have to wait until Sid fi finishes building the Hildegard 3. Zidane! I bring troubling news. What? What now? I can't find the princess. I've looked all over Linden. I looked all over Lindblom for her. The members of Tantalus aided me in my search, but... She's not in Lindblom? And there's only one place. Do you know where she is? I think so. You guys wait here in Lindblom. I'll be right back. Alexandria? Did she go home? Of course, mm, of course she went home. Where are you guys going? We're gonna look for Dagger. Is there anyone is there anyone else we need to look for? No, but we looked over there already. Go someplace where we haven't already looked. Sin is so demanding. True, true. Hey Ruby! Blank! Marcus, how y'all doing? We're doing all right. How's show business, Ruby? Well, the money ain't no good, but I'm having fun. I like it. That's great. Our hideout in Lindblom got completely destroyed. It's going to take a miracle to fix the place. Bro, we're better. Oh, sorry. Look, we came to Alexandra for a reason. Have you seen Dagger? Dagger? No, I ain't seen her. What about her? You fixing to kidnap her again? No, we're looking for her this time. I was only kidding, Marcus. I'll ask the patrons to be on the lookout. Thanks, Ruby. I wonder if Zidane is here with these good old boys. I mean, you'd be right. Ooh, I know what this moment is. Oh, yeah. I Okay, so a little backstory. When I first witnessed this moment as a kid, my mind went to an entirely dark as fuck place. And you'll understand why, because it went somewhere dark. This is strange. I was sure she'd be back in Alexandria. Where else can I look? Hey, Zidane, I've been looking for you. Boss, have you found Dagger? Nah, can't find her anywhere. 
I didn't find Dagger, but I think I saw that chick. That chick? Yeah, you know, that chick. I'm gonna check again. Hey, wait, who is she? What are you even talking about? Where are you going, boss? Is she here? She's standing right over there just a second ago. Over there? Oh. Is that who I think it is? Hey. Ah, over there. Where did she go? Still alive, right? You are... Baku? Yep. I'm the man who abducted your princess. Let us forget about that. It happened a long time ago. You got a big heart unlike that knucklehead Steiner. No wonder the women are running up show around here. Ha <laughs> ha. Boss, you must have seen Beatrix. Hey! As you can see, Alexandria was completely destroyed. Steiner and I did our best to protect Alexandria, but our efforts were in vain. Steiner was worried about you. Why haven't you contacted them? Dagger's still in shock. She's been a mute ever since the attack. She is... She is? Then it's better for her not to return to the city for a while. It won't do any good to see Alexandria like this. Well, here's the thing. We can't find her. I thought she'd be back here, but I can't find her anywhere. She's back in Alexandria? But she's nowhere to be found. Have you looked in the resting place? Resting place? Yes. If she's back in Alexandria, I'm certain she will be there. There are a couple of favors I'd like to ask for I'd like to ask you. If you see Princess Garnett, please tell her not to worry about Alexandria. She must take care of herself first. Sure. Well, what else? I'd like you to give something to her. Oh, Garnett. Maybe I'll help the princess get through this time of uncertainty. I've been looking for you, Dagger. Sedane! You, you, you can talk again! I... I've been thinking since the disaster. I've been thinking that I have to become a queen to bring peace back to Alexandria. That's why I came back here, but... Can I stay with you guys for a while longer? Can I ask why? When my mother was still alive. My primary concern was how to talk and look like a princess. Those were the only things on my mind. That didn't change when my mother died and I was about to become a queen. I only thought about how to look and act like a queen. I don't think the people will accept me as their queen the way I am right now. I don't know about that. I have no right to rule over this country. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Beatrix wanted me to give you this. Is this a garnet? That's right. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. That gem used to be just an ordinary stone. The stone made a wish. 
I want to shine. The stone traveled from person to person in keeping, in, in keeping with its wish. And now it's shining in your hand, Dagger. If you're willing to make an effort, you'll shine too someday. The day will come when Alexandria needs you. There's no rush. The important thing is that to have the desire. Thanks. I have to apologize for using you guys as an excuse to run away from my responsibilities. Hey, what's important is that you honestly want to stay with us. Zidane? Can I borrow that knife again? Uh, which one? The one that helped me make my last big decision. Oh, I'm borrowing this. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Okay, story time. When this happened, I legitimately thought she was going to do something fucked up and like slit her own throat or some shit. I was so sure. I don't know why I thought this. I was a kid. I'm like, oh, no, she's not going to like fucking stab herself, is she? My mind went to some dark ass places. I'm borrowing this. Sedane, remember the way I was for me. That didn't help either. What, what 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 happened? What happened to your hair? P -p -p Princess, what have you done? I know. Zidane broke your heart, didn't he? How dare he? Is, is, is that true? Whoa, hold on. Don't jump to conclusions. Zidane's right, Iko. Dagger, you could talk again? Yes. I'm sorry I made you all worry. It's okay, but your hair, it was so beautiful. Short hair doesn't suit me? Oh no, you look great. Thanks, Eco. It's too early to celebrate. It's still too early to celebrate. Aaron, you know our destination. Yes, Ibsen Castle on the Forgotten Continent. That's right. We'll go there to find out how to enter Terra through the Shimmering Island. I'm sure we'll find out more about what's going on once we reach Terra. Yeah. And hopefully we'll learn about what Kuja wants to achieve. The location of Ibsen's castle has been marked on the map based on Lady Hilda's information. Please press the uh, minus button after we depart. You can also press A on the bright spots of the map and the ship will take you to those locations instantly. You can check how to maneuver the ship automatically by pressing X while the large map is open. Excuse me. Please let me know if you'd like to switch out your party members. I shall assist you in any way that I can during your journey. You don't have to be so formal. Let's just relax and enjoy the flight. All right. Oh, Dagger, you are you are incredibly pretty now. Um, I I love you, Dagger. You are you are you are babe. You may you may stay in the party. Eco, I'm gonna bring you back in later. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna try something a little different. For now, uh, see, 
I'm gonna have this party for right now, but we got big fish to fry now, so this is my party for now. I might need actually need Quina, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that thing yet. There's one thing I need to do, and I don't know if I want to do it now or do it later. All right. Uh. Oh God. Oh. Oh God. Okay. All right. We're fine. We are fine. We are fine. Okay. So that's. Oh Jesus. Oh dear God. All right. We can do this, guys. We're gonna be fine. So we need to go here. Hey. Yeah, so we gotta turn our heads in the proper direction so that we can make sure we're going the right way. Should be about here, I think. Nope, that's Burmesia. Not where we want. Uh, yeah, it's right here, isn't it? So this is just outside where the evil forest is. Uh, what is, was, either way. Um, this gate right here. I think I talked about this gate. I never, mm, I remember. I remember. I did it. Mm. See, I, mm, this playthrough started twice, technically. So I don't think I ever, I never actually came here. I just kind of talked about it. And I forgot that I didn't actually do it on my second time of starting this playthrough. It was a really messed up occasion. Point is... Is that we're here now? Wait, is it not? Is it not this one? I thought it was this one. I thought it, I was sure it was this one. Eye drops. Pretty sure it's this one. Potion. Oh, is it not this one? It's not this one then. I thought it was this one. Um. Okay, so which one is it then? Is it the one near Bermesia? Maybe it's that one. I thought it was this one. All right. So it's not this one, which I thought it was. Is it on this side of the, no, there isn't. Well, there is a gate over here. Maybe it's this gate. Anything's fucking possible, right? So what does this gate have here? I never opened these either, really? Okay, I can't carry another high potion. Tent. Okay. Uh, give me a second as I try to figure out where this other coffee is. Ah, okay. So it's actually around where Lindblom is? Why did I think it was an earlier gate? I don't know why. Mm. See, this is this is why I can't be trusted with this, because I'm always going to fuck these type of things up. All right, so we got to go back towards Lindblom, don't we? Because apparently it's not here at all. Thought it was over here. So then where the fuck? Here's Gizm Luke's grotto. So where the fuck is this gate? E like you, s I know you see Baku and them go through a gate. I just don't remember where the gate actually. Ah, here it is. This is what we want right here. This is the stuff. South gate. Mocha coffee. Fantastic. All right. So we got one more thing to do for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go collect some other items that we have access to at the moment. So our first thing to do is we need to head back to Dali. Because technically, that's where we need to go at the moment, isn't it?
North Gate. Observatory map. map. Yeah, Valley. Oh, it's literally right there. Cool. So you guys remember that the old man here told us that if we collected all three coffees, he would give us something. Well, we're going to get that something now, aren't we? Obviously. Um. Oh, oh my. Those are the legendary coffee beans I've been looking for. Would you mind giving me those beans? Of course. Oh, thank you. I can't imagine the trouble you must have gone through to get them. Oh, I'm so happy. I never imagined I'd get to drink all the rare coffees of the world. I've never felt so happy. I'm ready to join my dearly departed wife now. Well, that's fucking morbid. I'll send the mo I'll send you the model of the theater airship. Nice. So, uh, the airship will now be located in the Tantalus, uh, Tantalus's hideout. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next time on Final Fantasy IX, everybody, we're going to continue onward and we're going to be collecting a few other items that we can now collect. We got to go back to Alexandria, however, so stay tuned for that shit. Till then, guys, stay tuned. I am signing out.